What's up, everyone? Nick Sarantino here, back with another episode of the Guided Spirits Podcast. And today, I want to talk to you about what it means to be mindful and how mindfulness can change your life. So, to begin, being mindful is being aware of your situation and what you are in as a position in time. If you understand where you are in the grand scheme of your life, such as myself being a college student and understanding that I'm at the point of my life where I should be learning more than teaching, but I just have so much to say, I made a podcast. And it's a great way for me to put out good energy. And I want to teach people how they can become better, become more mindful of their decisions. And being mindful, it really encompasses entertaining the thoughts you want to entertain. Be mindful of if they're good or bad thoughts. Are they adding to your life or are they subtracting to your life? Are they adding to everyone's lives, not just yours? Let your ego go a little bit further out and pretend that doesn't exist and focus on the big picture. Focus on what if there was a world where everything you did impacted the person next to you because if you pretend that is the case well you're gonna soon realize that is the case and that is reality because the more power you have the more you start impacting those around you and the people around you don't realize that they are also impacting you and everyone has this like resonance around them they they resonate to people around them especially the people who pick up on their vibrations who pick up on their energy and if you're mindful of what you're putting out you're gonna help everyone and not just yourself and that's the key the key is to let go of your ego and to focus on bettering everyone, including yourself. Don't forget about yourself because you can't help anyone until you've helped yourself. And that was the most important lesson I learned through my, the very beginning of my life because I always wanted to help other people and I never could really help people until I started helping myself. And I'm still doing that. I'm still on that journey of becoming better. And everyone's on that journey. Being mindful of the words you say is a great way of doing this. If you're spreading negativity and you're saying things that you don't truly, truly, truly mean, it's going to come back to you. And it's all about spreading the truth and saying the truth without a doubt. And I mean this on my life is an act of positivity because the truth in itself to me is a religion above all. The truth is the truth. What it is, is it is like it is enlightenment. The truth is like above all, like if it is true, it is like without any like question. It's just it is and that's why it's so critical to being true to yourself, being true to other people, spreading the truth, being mindful of whether something is fallacious or like false or if it's a truth. And then you can realize that something may be real or something may seem like it's a fact, but it's not always true. And the difference between, like, it being the truth versus just being a fact is as simple as something that it works, but it's not always going to work in every situation. And you can call something a fact, like, World War II happened. It is a fact. Now, there's different truths that are going to be coming out of that. I don't want to go into this example too much. There is too much about it that would distract the podcast be mindful of the actions that you're doing every action is just as important as the words and thoughts you say in fact they are more important when you are mindful of your actions that's what's really going to spread out with other people really going to resonate 
the actions you make, like, from leading by example is the best way of putting it. You are always going to have people watching you, even when you don't think you are. Even when it's the middle of the night and it's no one around you but yourself, you're going to have people watching you. They, you this you never know you this never know and you always want to put your best foot forward you always want to do your best and you have to understand that if you act to the most true version of yourself the person who is at their top of their game almost 24 7 that is how you are going to become better. That is how you are going to spread love. That is how you are going to spread knowledge. It's how you're going to spread positivity. It's how you're going to become more mindful of your own actions by trying to live up to your true self, to your true potential, to what you see as being the best version of yourself. Last but not least, meditation and understanding that you can sit and be alone and understand yourself, learn who you are by talking to yourself. Talk to yourself like you talk to your mom, like you talk to your dad, like you talk to your significant other, like you would talk to your kids. You want to talk to yourself like you're trying to teach yourself, like you're trying to make yourself better, like you're trying to be your best friend, like you're trying to be everything you ever wanted. If you can be that person that you wish you had to yourself, that is how you're going to really become better at being mindful. You're going to be able to sit in peace in this Either A, clear your head and understand you can let things go, or B, you can bring things up, you can meditate on things, you can pick a topic, and you can say, I'm going to think about this and nothing else, and that's what it means to meditate on something, or you can just clear your head, and that's meditating things out, you can let go of things through meditation, it's all about tuning in and letting go, or taking, or focusing Focus is the key because, as you know, where attention goes, energy flows. Last but not least, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful rest of your day and be mindful of your decisions.